Hello everyone, Jonas here again. Today we're looking at the Transformers War for Cybertron's Kingdom's core class cheater, I mean Rat Trap. So here is Rat Trap, and he has Series 1 from 2021. Got this one that I think is at Christmas that was back in last year, along with the other Maximus completed. So here is the Rat Trap, and he is the smaller, and he is a Rat Mouse mode. I believe it's a rat mode, according to his, according to Rat Trap's mentioned introduction in the first episode, he's actually a mouse, or sorry, rat. Well. So here's Rat Trap, he's just a little mouse. Here's a looking nice little detail. He also had, he's got a little cute little bug teeth and why you don't see it, it's kind of hard to see. It has a buck teeth, it's kind of hard to see. Nice little detail, and the tails, the tails are actually detailed. And there's just a little, under there, there's a robot jokes in it. So, yeah, it's pretty nice little detail, but the only problem is, the only problem my only complaint is that the tails looks like looks like it has a his tails or looks like I think it's a, supposed to be in the show that's supposed to be a pink I can't remember I think Ratra has a pink tails and his hands are as wrong they're missing nails paint on his nails so that's the case. Now there's no articulation. There's nothing. There's no articulation. The only was is he goes in that's by it, and that's by it. He does not have articulations in this beast mode. So overall, this is he is really small. This stands about one and a half inches. He is pretty smaller compared. Now compared to the deluxe class. Now compared. To, Really smaller to Chior. Now to transform to Rat Trap. The first to do, let's take it to remove his guns. Let's take it to the gun away. Now first to do, let's start unpeg his, unpeg his arm. Just that. Well, we're all gonna die. Let's unpeg his little arms there. This transformation is surprisingly pretty easy. Let's rotate. Connect this. Rotate his feet. Uh, rotate his feet. Oops, wrong one. Okay. <coughs> Unpeg his shoulders. Do exactly the same. Oh, rotate. And finally, rotate his head. And that was it. And there you go. And here is Rat Trap in his robot mode. Now, Rat Trap robot mode looks really look likeness of very show accurate as seen on anime series, just like he did looks in show accurate 100%. Looks a way better than Vintage Rat Trap figure. We saw a picture. Yeah, the vintage retro figure from the 96, I think came out in 1996. That looks terrible. The color is wrong. The, or, sorry, the colors, the head paint's all wrong. But this one that got color right. I used to have the generation rat trap, but actually, it's somewhere that stores a box. So, and I, so here is the rat trap. He's really looks accurate, but, and my only complaint is I did not like. He is really small. He's, Three and a half inches. And yeah, he is really smaller. Now, size comparison. Here's the... 
Here is next to the Cheetor. He is too small. He looks smaller. Here is next to Optimus Prime one. Or Prime one, sorry. He is very smaller. I guess he's a little shorter. He's about three quarter inches. Kind of like, like, yeah, what is it, yeah? So he's a little smaller. Now let's look at the head sculpt. I do like the head sculpt. Looks nice. Little, did a good job. Looks at how he did in the show accurate. And there's even a Kingdom animated television or War of Desire Twins Netflix. He is size taller. Even the deluxe class uh, generation, they did the same size ones. So here is the rat trap. I really like his detail paint. His eyes. I really like his head. Is it brown instead of tan? I really like his eyes are red. And he's got a little bug teeth. It's kind of a little hard to see, but well, you don't see it. It has little teeth. I really like has a silver metal brain, some sort. Now, the rest of the body is, is there's nothing back. Well, it was really detailed. Now, for weapons, as I mentioned before, also it has a maximal print. It's got a little maximal logo on his forearms. Well, you don't see it. It's kind of hard to see. It's got a little maximal little arms that looks pretty nice at detail. Just a, not just a sticker, there's just paint on it. Now, for the weapons. It comes with Rat Trap's blasters. comes with blaster pistols. It's just a gray plastic. Nice little tying guns. Now the older dude to fit his nice little easy. Here we have Rat Trap is ready to shoot up. Now sadly he does not come with feature of the bomb. Has removed has a bomb on his wrist. You take him off. Like a generation looks deluxe dead. But this one does not remove it, guys. That's pretty a disappointment. I kind of wish we had a fight in this color. Now, our take question for Rat Trap. It does get heads and swivel. Can swivel. Can't go up. It can't up and down that much. Its arms goes up and down. Goes in and out that much. It has a weird joint swivel bowl joint. And you try to rotate around like a... Also like yeah yeah it's weird no biceps swivel it does get bend in the elbow rotate no wrist articulations and there's no waist articulation this is kind of disappointment it does get legs and forwards and back goes anyhow that much he has a then a knee and double knee just weird because it's transformations and it's ankle force ball joint angles side to side so that's about it overall it still looks really very cool looking figure it's very small if nice so yeah i think it's a pretty nice little figure it's very accurate this one's so overall this looks a pretty nice one you're a fan of beast wars or transfer war for time for keenan line i think it's a start to pick out the display this so, hope you enjoyed this one. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Be sure to don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. So, thanks for watching. Bye for now.